Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello everybody, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Now it's time to roll into Game 5, as this time... New York Rangers are back home to face against the Tampa Bay Bolts. Right now, they are at the Madison Square Garden to get ready for another face-off game. This time of the matchup is coming into a near, and we'll find out who's going to take the lead series as it's all tied up. In between New York and Tampa Bay. Now, let's send you over to the other side. My next commentary to crew, I have it along with, all goes with the name for DJ Beast. And he's also with, all the name for, it's Sniper the Beast. Well, that's for later, unfortunately. Just kidding. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Tyler Beast and for Sarah Ice, I have it across here, it's Test 2. And we'll be back here with the post-game show on the other side to finish it off how well it goes. Enjoy the first part of the game of the doubleheader of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Let's roll. Hello everyone, it's DJ Beast. We are at Madison Square Garden to get this thing settled in. It's the Bolts and Rangers. After a tie series, they're ready for game five. Here we go. We start things up here on the board and we are ready to have a go time. In between, the Bolts and the Rangers. Here's how they start things up here as Kucherov will give it over to Point. Start things on a short run as the start game makes the save. The earlier range, it has to be one that takes. It really must be a hard runner that can let that one try to slow him down by. And just to make that one clear, it's more than you get that event of time. And that's where Wayne puts it in right now as Lindgren will have the puck here. Went right toward the right side of the wing and now he's in the left. Lindgren, as he lost that puck, it's about to will give it over to Point. Here's Point's chance. Tries to put a cut and across the Kucherov shot. This one roll out the pose. Zibanejad now gives it off to Kreider with the puck. And now he's over again as he gets a bad jab shot. Saved out by Veselovsky. Here's Kreider. In toward the middle, this one is poked out. Hagel with the puck and now he's on the other side of the wing. Rolling in toward him in the corner. Fouling along for the loose puck. Kako's got that puck. Fox has it over right into the other side of the wing, and now he's over trying to look for some open offensive players in the game. Fox shot! That one's blocked up by Radish, and now he gives it over to Kevin. And Hagel with the puck now finding it over again, looking over with an open look for Braden Point. Point on the backhand, blocker stop made by Shostokin. You know, I was loving to see that, and you know, a great way to do this one is to make a talking communication over it. If both teams are really aggressive, but this may be a little turn off to be a little bit of a hard one to go with. It may not be what they are looking at for, but there's going to be a lot of like a new change of clashing collision courses. I mean, they're going to make sure they're, they're pretty okay. Seth goes bailing along the board, and now he's over right down and behind it. Victor Hebben with the puck now finding Sherry. Lightning back in the offensive zone, and fires a shot, and this one is stopped again by Sturkin. Cherry lost that puck and stretch it will have it. Gives it again to Panarin. Panarin toward the middle. Lost that puck as Dehan's got it now. Right over again to Sherry. Sherry with the puck right in towards the center. Looks the pass to Stemko. Shot he scores! Steven Stemko, the captain of the Tampa Bay Lightning, got their start with a 1 0 lead. Now here's the thing right now, Steven Stamkos is really picking this all with a time adjustment to do with his most tick-tock motion. And this is a little bit of a ticking change in, and then he beats over Shesterkin, that starts things off here right away. It's a good goal to start it off for Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay Bolt starts with an early lead, 1-0 in Madison Square Garden. And now with the win, here's Jacob Trubo, he will have that buck right into the, right, the left wing. Off to Panera, shoot, save by Veselevsky. 17 minutes remaining in the first quarter. Trying to look for some goal 
holes and right in between. Now we'll have to do this one again. What else to start in the first period of game five? Now for the Rangers winning the face off. It's true belt, lost that puck, and it will now have it over to Miller. On the backhand, won't pick it up for a big snap finds Chappie. Chappie turned the right wing, and now he was trying to look over again. And he's not shot. A big save by Shusturkin. Chappie not finding Cerulli again. An easy man shot. And there's the penalty call on the New York Rangers. It's that Timmy Panera will have his first trip to the penalty box. That will be his first penalty kill for the New York Rangers. The first major is a tripping call. Well, the problem is right now, I mean, but that one is a trip. He must have had that stick already, but then that one's going to make a diving play. But that didn't help. Nikita Kucherov has a take to tape zone ability that can gently try to answer it all. He's really on the toughest on the game here, guys. He's looking to get his power play in advantage if he has one more win. And the save puts it in by Shisuke. Kucherov shot. Big stop here. Now finds Rempe with the puck. Fires that puck out of here. The uh, Lightnings are getting a group. Puck can cross again. Now finds Point. 6 0 5 left to go in the first quarter. First period, Kucherov shot. And off the stop here, here by Sturkin. And now he finds Steph goes right over in toward the right, and now he's in again. Fires a shot. This one's saved off by Sturkin. He's up into the end of his own. And now having to look again to Kucherov, again to point. Point right toward it in the center. Chuba's got it now, with just only 15 30 to go in the first quarter. First period, and now Rempe will have it. Under a minute left for the Bolts power play. Braden Point trying to battle along for the buck range, and this one will keep it alive for Hedman. Hedman tries to scoop his way down right over again to Cervelli. Over with a shot, and a big save here by Shisterkin. Fires up by Shisterkin. Oh, he's pretty, really well at that point. I mean, Shisterkin really got a cover at all. Make sure he's getting a good, right timing and get it all down. With the nearing down with the, we haven't hit the midway mark in a period, it's still a 1 0 lead for Tampa Bay. Now Lindgren will have it over. Now he will give a swing off and clear the puck out in the Rangers territory. Brady is with the puck and now he has it over again to Chappie. Chappie makes his way in. This one gets pumped behind and it makes a stop here by the circuit. Here's the fire! Scores! Ready is for two goals and now they have their power play advantage. A 2-0 score. Now you give off to Ready that quickly. That was a bigger take on here. After you give off to Chappie, and that firing puck is a lot of a hard range and technician. It's not turning to be like a great effort. That's a hard play. It's turning to be like a little harder than at all. Bolts are having a little bit of fun that night. It's still a 2-0 game in the first period. Now with the win here for Tampa Bay, as Perfects will have it over with under 15 minutes remaining in the first. They're on the shot's blocked. Fox now finds again his weakest advantage and again to Lindbrick. Now back to Kako. Kako tried to roll it in. dion has got it now. Back now to Sherry. Sherry getting the cross. Closes up here and he went down. That's again the gone shot. Big save by Sisterkin. And he's going to hold it up now with just only 14.03 to go. Well, they're really tired right now. I mean, they really want to make sure they can get that one out of your leg. Tampa Bay wins the face off and now he finds again to Semkos. Nearing toward the middle and Savannah Jen will have it. He's on a race over the other side right now. Trying to look for some cutting. Boom! This one's knocked it out. It's a bad shot. Now has it over to get to Kreider. Kreider shoots! Big stop it on the blocker by Veselovsky. 13 30 left to go in the first period. Now here's Paul in the toward the corner. Paul trying to get in. The shoot run left save by Sisterkin. Close by on the game now. Igor Sisterkin, he's like the GOAT. He really is impressing all of his attackers. I mean, might have to be an uh, expert at all, but the, but the fact is that he may have been just like keeping it in here for so, some of our days if he's trying to get that one over and then the attacker to get a goal in. He might have some of the time, but 
Hopefully, you might get there to it. Lafreniere up on Schneider on the shot. It's blocked up as Lafreniere blocks up into traffic as Dehan gives it over back to Corvitz. The detour giving again to Cable. They will now right over into the middle and here's Kucherov's shot. Big stop here by the circuit and now Hegel again to Dehan. Battling for loose puck. Lafreniere is down now and now has it again to Gustav set. Here we come, right toward the center, to shoot ones, and saved by Veselovsky. And here's point, on the other side, now looking for some uh, space in between. And good stop here, Snyder will do it again with Trocek. Trocek will fire the buck out. And now dehan has got it right in, right around the net. Gives a good pass over, now finding Chappie. Chappie to Cerelli's shot, well saved by Sisterke. Right under 12 minutes to go in the first period, 2-0 to score of Tampa Bay. New York Rangers wins the faceoff as Trubo will have it over in the outside, and now he's looking for an open gap, firing the puck out of the range. And now Radius will have it over again to Cheffy. Heaven with the puck now have it again to Sorelli. The chance of play broken up, and now BZ will have it over. Now finds again to cool it. Coil shot. Big stop on that blocker here by Veselovsky. And Bezzi will have it. BZ will give to Miller. Good stop by Veselovsky. And the nice shot, which is only 11 to 7 to go. Officials are getting set, ready for the faceoff. 2 0 is a score of Tampa Bay. And a win, puts it up for the Rangers. Miller shoots, and big stopper, he scores! Jimmy Beasy puts it up for a rebound, and now I have it on the board. Okay, as you know what that faceoff is, that pad was a little bit too close in in between. He tried to attempt to reach it at point. It's not what he just tried to do. I mean, he's trying to get that one in there, but this was coming up there too, a little too late because he didn't reach out in time and then that's causing the turnover to make a mess out of it. Now the Rangers are on the board and it's the 2-1 game and this one puts it in in game five. As Coyle gets a busy shot and it stopped again. Right to a nearing the net and Cooley went down. And number hit by Tampa Bay. chappie has got that puck. Dumps it up into the Rangers territory. And here's Truba, he will now have it over again on the other side. Now finds again the Miller, again to Kreider. Kreider, cracks his way down. Rebound by Kreider. Try to pull it in there, and Veselovsky puts his save. Kreider, give to Miller. Blocking that choppy shot, and it's really trying to grab it back. You know, how the technician is it, it's just not really like turning to be like, unbelievable moment. You really have to be like, how hard you do, but like, this won't take a lot of this offensiveness and they, and they really are trying to make sure they get into a right timing. Because nobody had that one with the goal opportunity range, they're really trying to make sure they have that one all kind of in bound. And this one may not be the best one occasional, if they're trying to get that one in there, they got to make sure they have it all raised out. That's going to be a hard take if they're trying to leave off with an open gap. And Kreider finds the bag and now into the left of zone. Trying to take a tie and it's stopped by Veselovsky. Step goes back again to heaven and now he gets again to Sherry. Sherry gets pumped up and now left in the air will give again to Panarin. Over now finding Trocek. Trocek choppies on the shot. Walks up the front of Trocek now finding to get the box. Diagonal again to Panarin. Over in the middle shot, big save by Veselovsky with 8.40 to go. They're really making sure that one is a hard take. I mean, really, you gotta make sure you can stop that. Andre Veselovsky is a controtionist on the board. He does have a lot of great techniques with his great save, but sometimes when he does for most of his looking at the appearance of his offense, he tries to make sure he has that one all contact in there and try to have that one out of there as still as he can. I'll find out if he has more room to get that one back into the game. Back to you.
And short check will have the puck and now has it over. Corbett gives him now over again to Hagel. And Hagel, he goes booked up. And here's the look now. Finding again. Spinning on a move as he gets the puck out. And now Fox will have it over again to Goudreau. Goudreau right in the middle. Pass broken up by Braden Point. 7.30 left to go in the first quarter. Durian has it over now again to Corbett's again to Giggle. Here's he gone. Shoots it on the backhand. This one is stopped at the stick save by Sisterkin. Fox now back to Lidwood. Here's that strong. Trying to voice it about and toward the middle to go for the goal. Big glove save by Veselovsky. Now that's what's going to cause that one to happen here. I mean, they're really making that a lot of like, change off. That attackers is not going to be easy enough if you try to make sure you get that goal in correctly. And the Tampa Bay Bolts will win the faceoff and now back it over again is Thoris. And he went down already. Coley tried to get the puck back, but DeHaan's got it now. He just dumps it out into the uh, Rangers territory, and Miller will now find it again to Vizzy. Here's Vizzy right now. He was the last of second time, and now he's over in. Chappie with the bumper, only 6.30 to go. Rolling down to Sorelli. Shoots, close save. Oh, what a great timing reaction here. He got that one all. Yeah, it's pretty big right now. I mean, he's really good. Keep it going right now for Shostokin. He's trying to get that one cleared out. Still a lot of time left in this period. Two ones to score as the Bolts lead by one. New York Rangers wins the face off as JT Miller will have it again to Coyle. Cooley lost that one buck and now Paul gives it to Henry. Back to Paul. Paul's shot blocked up by Miller. Now Brzezinski. Finds VZ. VZ right over into the right wing. Looking in. VZ goes down as Hedman will have it back. Hedman gives again to Stemkos. Here he comes. Shoots. And big save here by Sistokin. That's again the ball shot. That's the nine with a goaltender. You never get that one out there. Was Igor Shostokin trying to get that good saves in there? I mean, that's a hard take. Make it clear and make that one right. And now the Rangers will win the faceoff, and now here's Lindbergh. 5 15 left to go in the first period. As Lindbergh will have it. Shoots right in the pad, but saved off by Vizilevsky. Now Paul lost it over into the right wing. Pulls it off to Stemko. Shot. It's blocked up. Fox gives it again to Kreider. And now Lindbergh now has it over into the Bolts territory. Looking for two. Take it in there. The puck was a little wide off from the outside. And now he will have to try to give it over again. Now finding Sherry. Sherry holding on the puck. Now finding Paul. Again, Stemkos. And the delay penalty called on interference. Yeah, that's going to have to be a slashing call. I don't think that was an interference because at that point, Kapo Kapo got a piece of it on the skater and he's not really taking all of his time. That effort's going to be like taking over this. And you know, when the slash comes in there, he took a whipped. Yep, you see it happen? That's a trap play. Not going to happen well. Tampa Bay Bolts are adding another power play to his advantage. One and one for a for the first period of the game. Jacob Trieber trying to hold on to that. And now Sorelli with the puck. And score! Great in point. With the power play goal, it's a two and two one at the guard. Well, you're expecting to see what happened now. Great in point got a great look at it for the closing quarter of the period. And this way is not where you start things off here to beat over the circuit. That start off. That big. Yeah, really well done here for a test on the strength. For a Braden Point, he really made his close quarter of the game. Had to be a little bit of hard one to go maintain it off. But that didn't really get enough to go over it in between. It just really had happened. Most of the time, they really never to see what goes in. 
They were even trying to make sure they have it all down. Oh, what a big save here by Sisorke. And now back to Kaku the airway. It's really like a hard one. They were really going to make sure they have it. Vasilevsky stops a buck with only 338 to go in the first period. And just a 3 1 score, they trail by two. Now they're ready to go. Back on ice. Now the Tampa Bay Bolts will win it, and now D. Hines got the puck. Right toward it now. Ben Grant's got that puck. Now finds again the Fox. And he went down that time. And Furbix will have it over to get him to be gone. 3.13 left to go in the first period as the shot saved me by Sisterkin. Kucherov gets the point shot. Good save by Sisterkin. Now you will hold the puck with only 3-1 to go in the first period. Nearing down the end of the mark. Igor Sisterkin is one of the butterfly effects that he has done better on his technique. You know, the one thing he does with his wild save, he almost looks like it's almost going to be taken over with the effect of this game. Most sometimes the puck comes in there, and that one took a lot of his effort to try to make that one in there. It's painful, it's a putback, but that score doesn't maintain for anybody who gets there in the way. I'll try to reach out if there is another save here on the other side. It will be one or two. Four Eagles are stirking to keep an eye on. Back to you. Evan Bally along with the buck. And now Churchick will have it over and now try to get back into it as he's about to got it now. Evan got to get the radius and now he has it over again, finding Chaffee. Chaffee shoots. Big save by Sisterkin. Really better make sure you could definitely have that one all one time. Now G now Keandre Miller will have it again to Churchick. Trying to go in and it's blocked. Moves back to Lafayette on the back end, stopped again by Veselovsky. Nearing the 90 second mark in the first period, it is still a 3 1 game. Now they're ready to do this one again. Try to go with another attacker to try to stop it down. And now with the wind puts in for the lightning and with only 90 seconds left to go, here's Sherry. Sherry makes his way through. Big stopper on a stick by Shostokin. And this one will roll back. Sherry, oh, it's saved here by Shostokin. You know, it's pretty amazing now. Everybody loves Igor, but he's got to get back into it. One minute remaining in his first period of the game as Victor Hammond will have it over. And now back to, again, to Stamkos. Sankos, we get his way down. With the shot, it's over again. Oh, it's a stuck in. What a big save on that game. Now, I love the hassle in between because the Igor Sistokin is really like taking all of this work in front of him. He's really like, oh, wait, I'm never going to leave it alone. I'm just going to try to keep on going. It's really not easy for me to try to settle down, but he's like, excellent. He's awesome. With under a minute to go, it's a 3-1 game, and now he's trying to find a look and open. The odd shot went down. As Hagel trying to fit up a rebound, battling for the loose puck. Full pressure on the bolts. Point behind the cage. Looks again at Hagel. Permits to shoot for a Kucherov shot. Hit the goal post. Permits back to get him behind. Full pressure now finding Kucherov. And shoots. Drive him and save, and he scores. Bray, then Hagel with two goals in this game in the playoffs. Well, they're silent now. I mean, they're really trying to get that back. Yeah, you know what happened now? Brandon Hagel just really showed up and just trying to get that one whipped over, and he found an open corner. That one ends off the first period. I mean, it's kind of quiet now. Bulls extend their lead. It is a three. 4-1 game for Tampa Bay. Now here's another look as Lindbergh will have it. Has to get a couple of Krakow and now we get to Kreider. Kreider has a manager shot. That's out of time and no goal here. Four ones a score. All full pressure but Brandon Hagel got a good look at an open look. 
We'll be right back with the second quarter after it is for the period. Welcome back to the Madison Square Garden as we're about to start the second period. And we're ready to go. We're about to start things off in between Tampa and New York. All right, guys. I just really hit the save right now. I'm just giving it off to Tyler Beats for the first period recap. Here's what happened now. I was really seeing that what was going to happen right in between those two. They were really are being a bangle on the takeover. And they were not really like separating it in between those two. Tampa Bay Bolts are like starting things off quickly here in the first quarter of the period. But that didn't really think he really had that one off coming in there because that first goal turned to be off for Jimmy BC with the deflecting of the rebound. That is excellent that he has been doing it. I really like it. When he makes an enemy change off, that strategy is turning to be great. That is intentional speed in his work. You know, offense really doesn't have to maintain it, but that really changed all of everything that they really have done for the best of them. That shot's blocked right now, and here's Capocacco right toward the middle of it and trying to go back, back around. It's a better jump shot. Heaven takes the puck steal. Off to Hegel. Now finds again to Kucherov. Kucherov shot. Big save here by Suzuki. Now Kreider has to get a lot from here again to Trocek. Trocek right toward it in the middle and he tried to get it back. Looks it over, now back to Lafreniere with no offside call. Chuba now has to begin a Panera. That one's saved again by Vesilevsky. Now with the new Chuck substitution law of the change on ice, it's still a 4-1 game, Tampa Bay. And the win puts for Miller. Turn a bit of a rebound in there. Big stop made by Vesilevsky. Sherry lost that puck. It's in here. We'll have it over. Fires the puck around the net. And Furbitz will have it over now again to Stemkos. The Stemkos takes the bash of the hit. And there is a delayed penalty call. That's going to be on the Tampa Bay Bolts. Yeah, it's not really trying to be like an easy look. I think that interference is going to take them straight down. First penalty kill called on Tampa Bay. It's now Rangers' turn to make a power play. Lots of time left in this period. Still a 4-1 game for the Tampa Bay Bolts. Need to get this one on board. They have it. Now here's the win. Here's Trojak's shot. Big stop by Veselovsky. We're under 17.30 to go for a second period. And now this one will stake things off. Now back the airway. And for the Tampa Bay Bolts winning. Losing that puck. Glennon Ng has that one back. And now where's it? See, it's now fine. Goes up staying to Kako. Kako moving in. Oh! Saved here by Veselevsky! He did not expect where the puck was going, and that one stayed underneath. Oh, that pad is really like a biggest take. How could Veselevsky do that? Another win from New York Rangers as the manager will have it. He chops that puck too soon, and Splendidine will have it. Behind the net is Fox. Now finds Trojak. Trojak now finding it again to Panera. Panera can hold on. And Kervitz will have it over. On the other side, trying to look it over. Now finding an open man offense. And Kreider lost that puck. As Mote will have it. Here comes Mika Zibanejad. Looks again to Panera. Now finds Kreider. Kreider gets a throw. Panera shot. He's went way wide. And a big save by Mazalewski. 16.05 left to go in the second period. 4 was still the score. Off to it our way. That's rejected off the skater and it goes back the other way. In the center of ice as the biggest advantage will have it now again to Artemi Panera. Panera thinking that there's a penalty call but they are just losing time. 
Well, just not really let that happen in there. And they're really starting to lose their strength. I thought that they were going to do a lot of great passing. There's no way to try to like, keep that one down. That went up and high around the net. Looks like his time's about to expire. Looking at something happening in the corner, and now finally again to Hatcha, and that one puts it on one to go off the net, and it's off the board. That ends the power play for the New York Rangers. Well, they're really like clearly taken. I have no other way how did this happen, but that all turned to be really well. You know, this offense really hasn't been showing like this crazy amount of games, and you just really expected that. They really are into a full range offense. I love it when they do that. I mean, come on, folks. Let's find out if they can definitely do this one again. This picture off with the puck with under 15 minutes remaining. And moving in. Oh, that was too close now as he goes to Sturk and makes a stop. And Trochik will have it over. Slides it across. Perfect with the puck now finding it again to Paul. Nick Paul. Looks to cross it over now. Coming to find it over again. And the Han shot. This one went stopping again. Now back to Roy. Here's number one. Here for Sapan. This one will lose the zone. And now here's Kreider's shot. Big pot saved here by Vesilevsky. And Aaron trying to get it back. Now finds a pass to Vika Sabanajan. So shoots it, save, puts up a Vesilevsky. Nick Paul back again to Corbett, and now he finds Steve Holland. And he went down again. There's going to be a lot of take over us. I mean, very bad, very brutal, painful take. I mean, nobody went like that. Multi with the puck, and shoots. Big save here by Vesilevsky. Blending it. Shoots one. Stop save here by Vesilevsky. Now he's up over again, not finding VZ. Jimmy VZ tried to hold on with the puck, but it was a little too late. And he moves quickly over to get into Glendon. Truba. Again to Coley. Coley takes it around the net. Finding Kroenitz. Burks on his way down, not finding Morte. Shoots for a 1-1. One -one. That one stop here with a save here by Sestroke. Up and out of play. Here's Hedman, and now has him again to Chaffee. And this one puts another hit. They're really starting to let that one go bad. I mean, they're really like unbelievable. They don't know how to take to get that. The foul is called, and now the next effect puts up here for the Mr. Green Mask. Now, uh, Green Mask, <laughs> well, I wouldn't say if it would be like that. No, no, no. I mean, let it go with the handle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely really was thinking that it could be a little bit different, so worst. That's amazing. I love seeing that one. Uh, this um, this apple uh, slim slice, and uh, that tastes really good if you enjoy it. And BZ shoots, and he saves, puts it up again by, by Veselevsky. Under 11 minutes to go. His time went down. Try to pull it back in there, right behind the net. I will try to give it again to Sorelli. And now he's trying to look again to Jacob Trouba with only nearing down the big way marker to Perry, not finding Edstro. Tries to roll off and shoots! Big save here by Vesilevsky. They're really gonna make it that one short, huh? Possible angle is not gonna let that one keep on scoring again. You just gotta make sure you have the right timing to go for. It. And now here's Nick Paul with the puck, and now he's trying to get in there with the shot! Big pet save here by Sisterkin. Running two minutes, here's Kempe. Kempe rolling in right toward the right side of the slot. Looks in toward the middle, shoots one, save, puts it in here by 
Veselevsky now finding Paul, now again to Sherry. Here comes Sherry with the fast break, and it's safe, puts up Anderson Storkin. That poked out. Now he puts it over on the other end, and this one will take another save at it for the goaltender of the night, Igor Storkin. And now he's rolling off the other way. Now he looks it over to get into Kucherov of under nine minutes. And now pass again to Zabika Zabajad. Decides to take the lead or go with even. Now he finds it again to point. Point. He now has it over. Here's Fox. He will have it over with under 8.30 to go. Man, they're really trying to make sure they have it all coming in. The big terrific glove save here by Veselevsky. He's trying to make sure he got that one in there coming. Now teams are both set, ready for the faceoff. Still another score. One four is the score of the night. Officially, now back the airway as some Bay are adding another free throw in between. Now has it over again, snap a shot, big save here, and he scores. That will be number one. Hush the crowd here in Madison Square Garden. It is now an extension 5-1 score. At that first goal of the night. Yeah, you can definitely see what Nikita Kucherov does. He's making that little clip cut motion. He's trying to be over the goaltender. He just made that one to make it easy. Great strap in to take that one off. As the Rangers are going desperate right now. It is still amazing. And this one will be back for games three or four. Well, that's going to be what happened right now. I mean, what just happened, okay? And now he tries to make a save. And now here's Lindgren. With under 7.30 to go. And now this one is messed up again. And now trying to get back into it. And here's Heaven. Heaven is getting to. And now this one can put it back the other way. And Robin Ports will have it. And this one will be knocked out and the die by the circuit. Here's a vet. Here's Panarin on a vet skin. Try to walk it over and a big stop bay puts up as a circuit. They really have to make sure they have that one in high pressure contact. You know. They really got to make sure they have that one in there. And you know, they won't let that happen if they change it again. And this one will score! Oh, I think you'd be busy if I had that one in there. About to have that one back already. I mean, I never see that play. I'll look at it one more time. Now you can, you can tell what happened to Jimmy Vesey. He made that one was great rebound. He made that one in there, but I, he is definitely like a uh, tap fight fast break. They're really making it sure that this one turned to be like it's almost turned to be a goal or not. They absolutely do. They they have that one right away. And they accepted it. Yeah, it's great work. All this time in the offense really doesn't happen to be most of it. They really can't let that one get right to the full to another game with this matchup. They're gonna have that one a lot of hard time. They are true not finds it again. On top of it, we all definitely do. And he went down. I might get away with only six minutes left to go. It's a 3 2 game. 32 33. Now it's Cooley. Try to roll it in. Not sure what he's doing, but his time's running out. And that one will stop again by Andre Veselevsky.
Is there a chance here for the faceoff? It's a five to two score with five thirty nine to go. And now here's another take here for the Volks. Here's Kucherov now finding the game to Hegel. Hegel shoots. Stop by Sturkin. Now back there away. Here's another look. And now here's the penny. Try to look for something else in here. And this one will cause the foul. You pick it up, and they're offside. Critical draw here. Now the Rangers will win the face off. Five minutes left to go in the first half. Try to get it over again. And it's easy to try to like let them off the beating time, but it doesn't happen. And here's a shot. Big on a save for Tim for Brezileski. Then on the deep saucer he pass. Uh, right, right in there. And that one's like a biggest save. If you're never looking for it now, let's have a beat. All right, I'll, I'll do a few. It might be a different change. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to worry about you, but that really keeps on covered in there. Let's show the response now. Mm -hmm. If you're all tuned in for the NBA TV, you can definitely watch so by using a smartphone, the cap tablet, or eventually on a computer. It's all year round with no additional cost fees. Now for the win. Trying to get that one out of here right now with four minutes going by in the second period. SD Hans got it now with under four minutes. He's about to try to hold on and he's been there. Shot! Big save here! Oh, what a take over now. It's lopping here. We'll have it over now. Who's up saying? And back to get over. SD Hans back again at East Mount. 3-3 left to go in the second period. A Surinac shot, big stop there on the block, made by Sister Kid. Now finds Perfix. Perfix up, big save here by another loop. And now a replacement comes in, it's Jonathan Quick. Well, Jonathan Quick hasn't really been doing it for most of the time. Game two didn't seem to care about it, but now game five wants to show what he does very slow with tiny balls. Now with the win, he finds again to Gustav Sen. Three minutes going by in the first, second period of the game. Here's Gustav Sen, and he will now try to finish it over. Looking for the other side, finding Lafreniere. And now holds it over again to Sorelli. Sorelli now finds here, and with the shot, it's been knocked off. And now he goes back again to Lafreniere. The Rangers are on a full attack. This one stop, it's saved by Veselovsky. Veselovsky trying to give off again to Reed. And this one is denied with the shot. On back there away is the New York Rangers. Expecting to find another goal. Pryor with the shot. Trying to rebound. This one saved off again by Veselovsky. A uh, better chance here. And he may not be what you were expecting, but that was too close to the TF4. Fans are on the field right now. It's a 5 2 game still. And right now, the Wolf. The Bolts win the faceoff with under two minutes to go. And now he finds again to Sherry. Sherry. Try to roll in here in the middle. Well, poked out. Now finds again to Fox. 90 seconds for the left to remain in the first half. And this one will not get anybody's way as now Sherry with the puck. And he had a shot. Big save by Sister Kid. Really got to make sure we got that one all coming in now. What time does? What's it feel like? I mean, you got to make sure you have that one in there. And another one puts a stop here by Veselovsky. He's really all into a heavy, brutal take on a fast break shade. Yeah, they're absolutely really hard pressuring it out. Realizing that everybody is going over for them, but I don't know how much miles are they doing anyway. Let's see what they actually do. And it's one of the scores. Brandon Eagle now has three.
Oh man, Brain Nagel. Just do it our goals already. He says one more time. Do it one more time. I mean, what happened now? I mean, he went opening from his leg and that's going to be a, you know, a bigger problem. May not be what you're going to get there. With under a minute to go, here's an hour take for the cat. And now here's Kuchuab, and now back to again, Dago. Kuchuab has that one right now, and he has two bowls, we we'll see. But everybody's tired right now. I mean, I don't know what's going on right now, but the deer brain just having a little difficulty. Now, watch what happened with the cut and play. You know, you give it off to Kuchuab, you got a goal, try to slide to the in there, and it makes that one strike bolt. But Nick clap it, I mean, nobody wants to know. They're really expensive. And now, with that moment, they're going to have to, like, just settle it down. Yeah, of course they do. So one puts up here for the for the Rangers. And we double one again. Final seconds left to go in the second regulation. And this one will be up, and that is it. That ends the second quarter. A lot of extension cuts, but they're trying to answer back. 72 to score, 10 bay. Up ahead by five. You're watching NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Be back after us. And it's time right now to get right back into this. For a period about to begin. Well, folks, I hope you all enjoyed this part of the first game of the doubleheader. It looks like we got our last one coming up. And this one is just quiet right now as the the Tampa Bay Bolts, they are really are rocking it on right now. What do you think? Well, it's absolutely like a really like a, a, a fantastic day. I mean, everybody is trying to get, get their games back in right now. I mean, it's 7-2. I mean, that's crazy score. The last time it happened in game two, it was the end of the win. And it never really had caught things on, literally. At all the point, they were really trying to make sure they had that one all with a better technique ever. They had nothing else to uh, prepare for, but that is just no hard feelings to get right to it. And now there's a win right now. He gives it over to Hedman. Shot gets his way wide off the mark, and now he gives it again to Fox. He's Carter with the puck now finding it again as Benajad. On the start range, now finding it over on the other side. On the shot! Oh, good save here by Zalewski. Lindbergh shoots. This one stopped again by the goaltender. Red is trying to like deep it over into the corner, and this one is saved up again by Quick. Angle goes down, and now finds Red as she gained the point. Trying to wall it in. Big catch by Quick. 18.43 left to go in the third period of the game. And we have the next game coming up for you. We have uh, another great look in between. It's the Canucks versus the Kings here at Rogers Arena. That's what we have in Vancouver. Happening here at 10.30 p.m. later that night. And then following along with the next couple of games here after the NBA will be, I'll say, Toronto Maple Leafs against the uh, Florida Panthers. And then the other side will be the Golden Knights versus against the other team of the Edmonton Oilers. And then following along with the next game, it will happen just to go again. We're going to let that go in by as we have another look at the two games underway for after the Pacers versus against the the Cavaliers at the Game Bridge Fieldhouse and then after that one will be number 10. And a score puts it. Alexis Lafreniere now has 17 goals. Look at the transition over here when you're finally looking at the picking play of motion. Pick and roll moment is just a great way to take over this. I mean that's great. Lots of stuff in here has been digging it all. I mean, that's really like a hard part. You never really do really get there, and that is a really hard thing that's going to get right to this if you have the right moment. 
That is a win right now for the New York Rangers. And now he has a win again. He's trying to take a shot. Trying to put it in there. This one's back again. Here it out for Veselovsky. 7-3 to score. Headman shot. Big save by Quick. And the air one will be picking it up here as this one will stop the puck. We're getting ready for our face off. So as you know, what you have noticed here before, as we have the next couple of games underway, faces for the Cavaliers, and then next one will be the Everett side of the look, right in between the Clippers versus against the Mavericks back in Los Angeles at Crypto.com Arena. And following on with game five on the other hand, um, will be an error takeover to keep your eyes steady. After this part of the game, for four games, we have another one that will be taking you in, and as we have the number matchup for you, it's all called score. You know the name. It's what they've done for our best woman of the lifetime. And that might be one take, one off. As the next matchup will be for all the pretty Western Conference matchups in between the Predators versus Stars. And that will be the part of the last part of the game here. You'll keep an eyes on it. Brian Fernie outside. And for the Jets for the Avalanche, back at mile high. That'll be the next game on their way there soon. Only on Son of Beast. So yes, that's right. Every game has happened here in the postseasons. On every part of the day. Not just all multiple days, but some of the days will be excellent on a major look. And now back the other way. Quick stop! Oh, what a big game save here at this point. Now that's what happens at. I was really worried what happens when I make it. May not be what the chance is now, but that is a close save. Now the next face off coming in right now is with only 16.03 to go in the third period. And now for the win. That shot's been denied, and as Dehan will now have it again. Dehan right over in to the left side, right side of the wing. And now he's over it again. Good drop shot. Oh, quick. Unbelievable. A big solid save with only 15.46 to go in the third period. That's really like a hard changeable. I was really seeing this. That's excellent for Jonathan Quick. He's making that one a great stop. The guy Jan now finds again to Carl Kreider. Chris Kreider trying to roll it in with a shot by Sape by Veselovsky. 15-30 left to go in the third period. If you're at me, I've already made your tickets here at the NYU Skirball. As right now, all tickets have already been sold out now. I mean, a lot of due to population and the learn of the demand. Everybody's been loving it right now. I mean, they really are enjoying it. And this is part of, part of the BFDI and the MSA experience of the show tour in 2024. And now they're back again. That's right. I was really ready to go back to Chicago. I'm thinking I'm ready to see what the next is. And you know what? I'm going to New York. This one's going to be the, the great show here. Yeah, all right. I love that one again. I mean, it's going to be amazing. So, hope you enjoy the show. Thanks, guys. And if you all have your tickets here, enjoy the show. And that will be the BFDI TPOT for the first half. And the second half will be the BFDIA number 12 in the second half. And with the United Sandy coming back in season two. That's totally it. I'd really love to see that one, what goes with the new episode, so it's going to be an excellent and amazing way that you cannot mess this one out. I really love to hear that one, and this one's going to be amazing too. Now here's Trinity shot. This one stopped, and now back to point. Point shoots, saved by Quick. Fox gives the Lindgren, another total hit for Tampa Bay Bolts, and now Cooley. Lost that one. Brian and try to look at it. Stamp saved up again by Veselovsky. 1333 to go. In the third period. Now the officials are set, ready for the faceoff. 7 3 is a score. They lead by four. Tempe wins the faceoff, and now you will have it over now again to Stamkos. Stamkos gets that puck back. 
On a shot, makes safe by Quick. Rosinski now finding BZ. BZ now has a Tukuli shot, big save off by Vizilevsky. 13 7 to go in the third period. Still trying to get the goals back in to throw it up and then tie this game. Well, really, it has to be all with all of the change off in this play. I was really sure that they were going to get this goal back, but they need to find some a little bit of quick offense to go right in between the pass zones and the angle. They've got to make sure they keep on going before that's too late. Now the officials are getting set, ready for another face-off. We're already in Rangers territory. Now for another win here, as he will now have to begin to Panarin. Panarin giving it over. He gets a slip down. Now here's Hedman here with the puck. Now as it over again to Paul. Oh, big kick! That's a Ranger takedown, and then this one's not going to let that happen. That's a hard take. Now Nick Paul will have it. Right toward the center shot. Gloves saved by Quick. 12-12 to go in the third. And now here's another look for Arthur Benera. He went down. A lot of total hits here. That's number 50. And Georgia gives the Miller shot. Big stop by Veselovsky on the drive. Now the teams are ready to take another face off here. It's in the game, 54 to 50. I mean, there was going to be like a lot of hits, and it's almost going to get further back in. Yeah, I mean, don't let that happen. If there's something going on with this, I mean, don't let them take a chance after this. You've got to make sure they have that one all cleared out for anybody that can go near or close. Perfect now finds Kudrow. And a shot! Big save by Mazalewski. 11.30 to go in the third period, still looking for some timing angle, looking for some shots. On goal. And then Webb puts it in. Bryce gives it down to Hedman. Hedman trying to work his way down the cross here to the other side of it, and now uh, Edstrom with the puck, and now he finds it again to Fox. Fox now finds it over to get a good draw. Bridger lost that puck and now goes back to Chaffee again to Reddish. 11 minutes go by in the third period. Fouling for the quarter, now finding Rempe again to Ed Stroll. Ed Stroll, good move here, looking for Lindgren and now finding Goodrow. Here's Goodrow, and the shot stop, and that broken stick appears on the play. We've all got to have to like try to clear it out of here. I mean, they're just never going to let that slow down. I mean, you won't take a lot of, like an effort this if you try to poke a stick to go with some shot. I mean, it's if it's whipping you too hard, I mean, don't try to let that one get to you. That is good draw. He now finds point shot. Big stop on the pad. Save here by Braden by Jonathan Quick. Passing the midway mark of the period. Now he finds Point. Point lost that puck and now he will have it over again back to Capo. Down to another look of the angle for the loose puck in the chain. And Kucherov gives it over to Point. Point spins around. Now finds Purvis on a shot releases. Big stop at the plate by Jonathan Quick. New York Rangers back on the end of the attack and now Zabanichan will have it again. And here's Kreider. Big stop by Veselevsky. He's going to hold it up with under 9.30 to go in the third. And now the officials are ready to take this puck for a next level. And with the Tampa Bay wins another faceoff. Dion will have it out. Valley will lose puck. And now Corbett will move it quickly over to Paul, and now he gives it again to Stamkos. 8.50 now, one more cherry shot, big save by Quick. Quick's got to have that stop in motion. This one may not be an easy save, but that may be a hard one, but you're going to let that one count down and fly it. It doesn't get a change off. 
Now there's no win, and here's Swarbrick shoots, and that one pucks it out. 838 left to go in the third, and now Miller try to grab the puck on, and now he will have it again to JT Miller. Under 830 to go, Miller gives it again to BC. Now we're right, in the center scores. Coyle with his first goal of the playoffs after assist puts up bid by BC. Now that's what you are doing it right now. When you make that man in the middle, I mean you gotta try to like cover up. That rebounding is just gonna take all of his timing. Better angle is just a possible look. When you're trying to find open goals, try to make sure you have it in there. They really are making Atwood feel great. I mean, they're just kicking it down right now. Down by three. Let's hope they get another one. And here's Corbett with the puck. 8-10 to go in the third period. And Stan goes with the puck right now. He ain't right again to ball shot. Chop the puck up again. And then now it's Miller again to Brzezinski. Brzezinski. Go to middle shot. This one's wide. Stamkos. The animal gone with the puck here as now with Stamkos with the puck recovery. And fires a shot. Quick save. Near the goal post. Now back again to Miller. 7 3 left to go in the third, and he gets left out. And Aaron Cox broke it up. Sherry trying to let him go into the loose chain, and now this puck just goes over. Here comes off in the air. Trying to go with some attacking shot. Oh, this one will never make save. Back to his shooting again. Deflected. Trochex blocks that shot. And Aaron now finds Truba. Truba shoots. Big save here by Vesilevsky. There's a lot of what it takes in there. I was really hoping that, you know, Andre Vesilevsky, he has a control strength. I mean, he is not giving up here in game five. He's really on to his best effort on the attacking range. That would you all call for, like, oh, wow. He is the best. Miller shot, and he scores! Deep firing, and that goal puts it in, back down by two. Let's watch that one again right now. We can see when he wiped out, he just really had that one deep firing the puck in the range out there. I don't think it wasn't the fucking in there. I only face say it was a clear shot. He just had that one in there constantly against the goaltender. And he just made up an in there just at the right time he goes in. So the Rangers are back down here by two, and Kapo Kapo with the assist, seven fives a game. Now Tampa Bay wins the faceoff and then Rodriguez again to Hamill. Here's point. Point by Torre in there. Quick still on his feet. Hamill shoots. Oh, Crick holds on. Nearing the six minute mark in the third period of the game. Now they're off to do this one again. Seven fives to score in the third. Now it doesn't take you seven bit. Kevin right through the middle, and this one's up, and this one no rebound put in for the Bolts. It's advantage at. As it began the Fox. Fox. Lost that puck. Headband, but a little longer to lose the puck in the scrimmage. Here's advantage at. He shoots and scores! That is amazing. Because the advantage at does it all. It's just point for release man. I mean, he's doing a lot of time. Just when you get there at that point, you gotta make sure when you have a looking open feed. That is a lot of great changes, just like game two does. Game five seems to be a close game right now. It's a 7-6 game with 538 to go. Now that the Rangers wins in our faceoff, Lindgren can get their team to a tie right away angle as the batter jack. This is that fucking now finds Lindgren. Lindgren up and he gets it, ripped it! Oh boy, that is a close one. It's going to almost going to be a tie game right in between. Well, we really have to be uh, better at that point. I mean, they're really like pressing off fast right now. Fox takes it back over to get his batter jack and now finds Carter. Here's the batter jack. Oh, he took a big hit. Reddish now finds again a headman. Headman right over into the right way and now finds Sherry. 
This one stopped again by Quick with the pot save, but now he finds Adam Fox. Adam Fox ready to deliver is it, and he just throws it on. Heaven with the puck. Looks now again to Sherry. Sherry went toward the right wing. Trying to shoot one. He makes another big stop for the pad by Quick. Lindbergh gives again to Trocek. Trocek right toward into the left wing. And this one's another pad saved by Veselovsky. Trocek back to Lindbergh. And Lafreniere big to Fox to tie it up. Oh, and this one stopped it out with the pad save and it denies it. Stemkos will reject the puck and now back into the Rangers territory. Now the Rangers will get puck back and Lindgren will give it over to get now finding Trocek. Trocek, left right here to tie it. This one is knocked out of here and it's saved by Veselovsky. Under 3 3 left to go in the third period now finding Kucherov shot. Tied again with a save by Quick. Kreider gets his knees to Ganajad. Looking to tie their game, just like game two. Game one and two, you know. Couple combo by Miller again to Trubo. He's up to Zabanich and it's high a shot. Oh, what a take! And this one has stayed out of the zone. Four pushes off the zone for the Rangers. And now Braden Point trying to cut it in there, but Trubo's out of back. 2.30 left to go in the third period, and now he's getting swiped it up. Yawn right again to Chaffee. Chaffee. The shoot one. The block was stuff made by Jonathan Quick. Charger gives again to Artemi Panarin. Panarin to tie it. Big save by Vezilevsky. Now that's what Vezilevsky is doing. This, this one's really going to keep that all in tightness down the way. Really gotta make sure he has that one all incoming attack. Make it clear, make it good. And we do have a delayed penalty call, and the Rangers are gonna get a power play if they tie this game off. He's around in the penalty box, ready to let the crowd go light up at that Madison Square Garden. Now they're ready to do some of the lower face off in between. Looking to see if they can get a tie game nearing that, that final minute mark in the third. And here's True Ball to tie this game. The fuck it up. And a good stop. Right toward the wall, and now he gets again to Sodax. Just about 90 seconds left in the third period, and now we'll have to try to give it over. Couple Couple gets it over to get a Gustav Sin. Russell not finding Brzezinski to tie this game, and Vesilevsky trying to hold on with the puck. They're in the final minute in the third. And now here's the Bolts, and now they're back over the way, and he will tire the puck out. They're in the final minute in the regulation period as Kuznov Sands got to take over to Panarin. He's got to get over this one in now as Panarin tries to give over. Trocek, this one's blocked up. Kreider back to Panarin. Laying the timeline down, the extra skater's on. And this one will carry out. So really pushes out of the, uh, the ring. Kuyo with the prep. Truba now trying to find over again to Artemi Panarin. On the take. Formix. With under 30 seconds left to go. True Trochak. And this one's broken up. Formix with the puck. This one will fire it out into the Rangers territory. Truba. Valley for loose puck. Final seconds to shoot. Trochak's got to make sure he's going to get in there. He's got to make sure he's going to clean. And he lost that puck. He can't get going. And now that's the Bolts will take it. And this one will block that shot. And that ends the regulation period. What a close game this is. 7-6 in final score in Madison Square Garden. Brozilevsky is making the team, making a comeback in here and try to win it again. Well, this has to be a really close game. I know what happens now.
They've really been trying to make sure they were trying to get that close game. They wanted to tie this game up. But too bad, though, they couldn't score with the evenness in the game. So, I guess that'll be the next game. You will never get to know what comes at. So, that ends the game right now. 7 6 is your final score. DJ Beast along with Tyler Beast. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Style. Thanks for joining with us and have a great night, everybody. Alright, thank you so much. Time for three star players in the game. Third star starts things off here. On the other side of it, we go with the New York Rangers. As Jimmy Vesey only had his goal, and his appearance has been turning like great. The second star goes to Nikita Kucherov with two goals and assists in three hits. He made that one easier to think. And your number one star goes to Keandre Miller with a goal, two assists, and three seven hits. He really did the deep shot and just made out an in there. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's not really like it's all the day what comes in, but the last one will be coming in there will be the Vancouver Canucks and the Kings. Here's what I did with the total statistics. 87 to 78 total shots on goal for Tampa Bay. 65 over 57 for Tampa Bay. 6 to 13 over 549 for Tampa Bay. 93 over 92 for Tampa Bay. 34 over 30 for New York Rangers in the faceoff win. Four minute penalty kills was even in between. Two power play goals with 157 seconds in the power play minute. And the other side, 347 was their time for the power play minutes, but no power play goals been taken. Now it's a 3 2 lead for Tampa Bay Bolts. Now here's the question now because they're betting the game six. Will the Bolts win it or the Rangers to stop and force them to game seven? You'll find out for sure on the other side after games fives are completed. So we'll stick you around here on the other side pretty soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. We'll see you all for the final game of the night. And see you again for the last on the other side of the two games with the Panthers and the Leafs. And the other side will be another game in between the Vegas Golden Knights and the Oilers. This is Sonic Beast and Terry Crews signing out. Peace out, folks. Until next time, have a great night at the Garden. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.